Think Again TV is produced by Centre for Inquiry, Canada's premier venue for secular humanists, atheists, skeptics, and free thinkers. Hundred miles an hour, sixty-six miles in altitude, two hundred fifty miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, ops three. Well, we just had potentially a historic event. Uh, some of the CFIers and some other uh, friends in the space community came together to CFI this morning to watch the launch of the last shuttle, uh, Atlantis. Um, and the CBC was here earlier uh, getting some of our reactions and uh, that should be up on tonight's news. What were all of your this is mission control reactions Houston, to? Uh, well, I'm old enough to remember uh, the start of the space program with Sputnik and uh, the uh, Mercury launches. And and the Gemini and Apollo, so I've just been following it throughout my life, I guess. Where? Do you have those memories? Or are you a little the Apollo <laughs> No, I don't remember <laughs> Apollo. First Apollo I remember is from the Rocky movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, actually, uh, my grandfather gave me a huge collection of National Geographic magazines, and one of the first ones I opened was the first photos from the Voyager programs and they were beautiful like full page color photos of like the, the outer planets and it just blew my mind. I was like, that's very cool. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to maybe tease out a bit of why that was so important to you and I'm wondering if it ties to the fact that, you know, astronomy and space exploration is often immediately connected to like big questions that we have about our place in the universe. I and mean, that's why I got really into astronomy. And, and, you know, those pictures are such great symbols of how astronomy can, you know, enlighten us in terms of understanding where, where we come from, where we're going. And I think, you know, here we are at the Center for Inquiry, which is asking those big philosophical questions. So you think there's a natural connection between, you know, a love for space and astronomy and, you know, free thinkers, skeptics, just science enthusiasts generally? Definitely, like seeing, seeing like the the awe-inspiring like vastness of of everything, kind of puts you in your place and makes you realize that there's a there's a lot more to the universe than just you know what you see day to day. Why do you think the public doesn't necessarily see the importance of you know of science as a way of looking at those big questions? I mean, why are people not all that into continuing the space program and, and things like that. I don't. I don't think that they actually get to. I, I don't think they they know what the space program does. You know, they're more concerned with what they see on the news. Like the news doesn't cover every every major astronomical event or anything. To just see, well, unemployment's up, blah blah blah. They they don't they don't worry about anything except the small problems, right? And they don't they don't realize that, you know, they see that a, a shuttle launch costs millions of dollars, but they don't put that in perspective. They just think, wow, that's a lot of money. But when you look at it, the the American space program is like one half of a cent on every dollar of their taxes, whereas as things like the military would be like, you know, 50 cents, or uh, I'm just making that number up, but it's, it's a lot higher than half a cent. So I think people just don't, don't realize the significance. Any last words about this mission or the, or the future of the project? I think it's depressing. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, that can't be our last, very last word. No, but, no, but it is. It, yeah, <laughs> it's just a shame. It would be nice if, if maybe, maybe Canada would uh, would would step up and uh, maybe maybe try and get a better space program going. You know, we're we're a first world country with lots of extra money. If if countries like China and India can can fund things like this, then why can't we? Yeah, we could start a new space race. Right? If the Chinese get into it, exactly. they believe in you know. 
the Western countries will hopefully want to compete with the bigger rockets. <laughs> Competition, Competition is not always a bad thing. I yeah, mean, it, it happened before. A lot of innovation. Like, you know, yeah. The Russian US thing, that's, that's, that's you what know, drove it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your, your insights. All right. Think Again TV is produced by Center for Inquiry, Canada's premier venue for secular humanists, atheists, skeptics, and free thinkers. CFI Canada coordinates branches and campus groups across the country, runs a public education series, provides secular community services, incorporates cutting-edge multimedia such as blogs, podcasts, and YouTube, and is a regular voice in the press presenting a secular humanist, atheist, and skeptical perspective.